What up, everybody? I mean, it's been like almost a week since I posted a video. I feel like something's missing from my life. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, welcome back if you're here. And this is going to be a video I've had a lot of people talking about. Trying to get information from CoinGecko over to Google Sheets because uh, Google Sheets has been having a problem with import XML formula that, that you use to pull stuff. And so I found a workaround, and I'm not sure if how far... They're along, there's supposed to be a fix for it, but um, that's the first thing we're gonna talk about today. And then the second thing is, I said last time that when I make a new pre-recorded video, I'm gonna give away one of these Fox syndicates. So that's what you see on the screen here, and I'm gonna use that to um, just give back because I got an extra one. Somebody gave one to me on Twitch, and I wanna give one back. So first, let's uh, jump into the uh, CoinGecko formula. So what I, do every time I make a new sheet is go to sheets.new and that'll create a new Google Sheet. And then once this is open, let's uh, zoom in a little bit. All right, um, thanks about the people chips. So we're just gonna use this, we're gonna call this uh, Coin Gecko Public Portfolio. And what we're doing is we're gonna go to Coin Gecko, we're gonna grab our um, portfolio that we have and there's a way to publish your portfolio. I think I shared this in one of my other videos. So I'm going to go to my nodes portfolio. This is what I use to track how much I make daily on my nodes. Uh, all I do is put what my uh, the amount of nodes that I have like the amount of earnings that you get per um, per day. So then it gives me this number that 149 is actually what I'm making per day. And then it shows me I can just easily see a 24 hour change and then uh, <laughs> total profit and loss. This is daily. So this changes all the time, but it's just a quick overview and glance of what's going on. So let's go and click on these three dots and you can toggle this on. I've already shared it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this link and go back in the new sheet. And I'm just going to put this right here. I'm going to paste it in there. And this is the link that I want to use. So I've got the formula over here. Uh, it is import XML. And I want to show you one other way to do it too. Uh, you want to make sure there's nothing below it. And I'll just paste this in here. And so what we want to do is we want to use equals import XML. And then uh, this B1 is going to reference the URL. So we're going to do this as A1, and then we're going to pull in this slash slash TR, which is table row. Uh, and I don't really understand XML too much, but I've learned it this much. <laughs> so what this does is it'll pull the table rows from the public portfolio, all of these different ones. It'll pull it right in here. Um, and it gives you the coin name, the price, the hour, 24 hour, everything across. And then what you can do is create a new sheet. So if I just rename this coin gecko, let's call it coin gecko public, or how about coin gecko shared? Okay, and then I wanna make a new sheet, or I can do it on that sheet too, but let's say I'm um, doing something for my PXT nodes, right? So I put PXT, and then I wanna put PXT, this could be very simplified, PXT price, right? I hit equals, and then I click back on this and go over and find PXT and I'm going to click on the price, hit enter, and then that'll uh, let me put it here. So I kind of use this as like a universal uh, tab so that I can get prices and then I'll pull it over to one of my sheets. Uh, so yeah, so that's it. And then um, there's another one that you can use if you're having trouble with import XML. So let's just go ahead and delete this. And I'm going to do equals import HTML. All right, and this does it from a table or a list. You could still click on the cell to do the URL and put a comma. And then the query, if you drop this down, you'll see query says either list or table. So I'm gonna put quotes right up here. So this is gonna say table. And then um, for index, I just put one. That means it's gonna pull the first table. And then the locale, uh, I, it just defaults to English if you don't put anything. So I'm just going to hit enter. And then you can see it gives you the same information. So um, there's a little bit more advanced things you can do with this. Like you can set up a trigger to automatically refresh it, which is something that I have set up. I'm not going to do that here uh, because I'm trying to make this short and sweet. But if you're interested, leave a comment and I'll make one of those videos too to show you how you can set up a trigger through AppScript. Um, but this is this is pretty much it for the tutorial part. So let's go give something away. So what I wanted to do, I've got a tweet here and I've already pre-composed it. it says giving away fox syndicate 4422 which is this uh where'd you go let's go back over here rare candy um 
explore and I'll just actually go to mine. There you are. So we can take a look at him uh, or her. I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm not going to genderify it, if that's even a word. All right. So it's got an uncommon background, uncommon uh, traits here. And so what you'll want to do is either go up here to your wallet, your account uh, with the extension and click on deposit and this will give you your address. You can just click on it, it'll copy it and then go paste it in there or you can head over to Twitch if you don't have the extension and uh, click on wallet on the left hand side and click deposit BSV and copy and then just paste that over into Twitter. So I was gonna use Twitter picker but it looks like you gotta follow all kinds of rules so just put your address in here. I'm gonna do my best to judge if it's a bot, hopefully it's not um, and then uh, that'll be the giveaway. So. I'll let this run for maybe 24 hours. If I don't get any, any a lot of replies, I'll just let it go longer. I'm not going to uh, put a deadline on it, but uh, when I get to it, I'll give it away. So that's going to be it for this video. Um, I got some more videos coming, but as always, if you have an idea of something you want me to uh, make a video about, let me know. Put it in the comments, and I'll see you guys later.